What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Coffee and Tech. Today I'll be showing you how to use this as this. Hey guys, I'm a genius. <laughs> Let's use the DSLR as the webcam. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Coffee and Tech. Today we're gonna be talking about Canon's new software for using your DSLR and your vlogging camera as your webcam. Yes, it's very exciting. So we'll be testing DSLR. I have the T5i 700D. Two hours later. This software dropped about. This software dropped. Ah. Dang. Hey, Joe, who's that? Ah. Oh, yeah. This software dropped about a month and a half ago from Canon. It's still in beta. Uh, and technically, my camera is not supported on it, the T5i 700D EOS. Um, but I downloaded the T6i and it just worked fine on it. This is where you'll plug the USB mini that comes with the box of your camera, or you can buy one on Amazon for like 10 bucks. Uh, this is the cable you'll need with this exact model. With other models, you'll need a USB-C or a USB, uh, um, what is that called? Why don't I remember that? USB-C, USB mini. Two hours later. And the main common one is the micro USB that's on most cameras, uh, which is on the vlogging cameras and on the uh, most of the models of Canon. Let's plug it in and test it out and compare it against my webcam and how that would look on your stream or on your uh, video call. Let's get into it. All right guys, after you plug the USB into your camera and you plugged it into the computer, nothing will really happen. Uh, right now I'm using the C922 as my webcam. Uh, I use this for streaming for the longest time. To get started, we're gonna search for Canon Webcam Utility. Ah! Right, this is the website uh, for the software. You come in here and you can say, see the download instructions, you select a model, select the driver and tab, software tab, and then you should be able to see that EOS Webcam Utility beta. So these are all of the models, the camera, mo the Canon models that they officially support, uh, but technically they actually support more than that. For example, I downloaded T5i and that worked for me. So to get started, find your model in here or find the closest model to your camera and download the driver from there. So for me, I'm gonna go to the T6i and I am going to say, hey, I wanna download this guy. Once it's downloaded, you open it up and you literally just install it. Obviously I have it, so it's gonna ask me to repair or remove. Once you plug, oh my gosh, so bad at this. Okay, once you're plugged in your DSLR into your PC with USB to USB to your camera, um, you wanna come in here in OBS and select add under sources, and you wanna go to video capture device. Once you've opened the properties for the camera, you wanna go ahead and select it from the drop down and go turn on the camera. Here we go. All right. So now that we have the full camera coming in from the feed in here, uh, let's take a look, quick look at the settings. You have custom. Custom doesn't really let you play with the resolution as much, uh, except, especially with my camera. Right now it's coming, saying it's 576, but I know it's 720. Uh, obviously you can set the settings from your camera, but it's not gonna actually do much to the feed that's coming in. The FPS, uh, you can change that, but I would keep it at the highest, match the output FPS because it's the fastest and it's gonna give you the best feed. Uh, video format, keep it at any, doesn't really matter. Under color space, I would keep it on default. Under color range, I would keep it at default. These are all the options that you have under properties for camera. Uh, buffering, auto detect. I wouldn't personally use the audio from the camera just because I have a mic that is sitting in front of me when I'm talking on video calls and when I'm streaming. But you can see that the camera came in with this black border. The camera thinks that it's outputting 1080, but in fact, it's just outputting 720. So the, this black is just extra pixels that it thought that it's gonna be outputting. But you can get rid of that really easily in a filter and I'll show you how to do that here in a second. Okay, as we can see that the DSLR is having some issues uh, getting rid of that black border, uh, but we can fix that with a quick filter. Uh, if we go to filters right here, I added a crop filter, which is basically gonna take 160 pixels from left and right and 40 from top and bottom. That's the number I found for my camera and you can adjust that based on your DSLR. But once we put that filter on, you can see it only gets the feed that we want. Okay, so here's the two cameras next to each other. Um, the C922, the webcam is a little faster when it comes to frames, and that's just because it's plugged into USB 3. 
and this camera only supports USB 2 because it's USB mini to USB 2. You can see that the DSLR has way higher uh, color depth and it has way more uh, depth to the actual picture itself. You can see the focus level, you're able to focus, zoom in much easier with the lens that you have. And based on the lens, you can get really good image. I personally would choose this DSLR over the webcam just because it looks better, especially at a when the camera is on the size and it's not full screen, right? You can see you don't you don't won't notice the lower resolution. You won't notice the stuttering as much as you would if it wasn't full screen. If I was using the camera in full screen, I would totally go with the C922, get some better coloring, better lighting. But overall, it's a pretty good software. Remember, it's still in beta. With the new releases, it should get better and should get faster. So. Let me know in the bottom with your comments, with your thoughts, if you have a DSLR and if you try to use this uh, guide. Thank you for watching so much the video. I hope it was helpful. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe. Would love for you to follow the channel and see all the reviews and the tech talks that we'll be doing. And again, thank you for watching Coffee and Tech and you have a good one. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Coffee and Tech. Today we'll be reviewing this dog.